Here's a very large, very pregnant female Dumbo Mosaic guppy. In this video, I got some amazing footage of her giving birth. How's it going everyone? These are my Dumbo Mosaic guppies. I got this string 20 months ago. These Dumbo Mosaic guppies have huge pectoral fins, also called Dumbo or elephant ears. Here's the female Dumbo Mosaic guppies. I like these females because they have some color and they have mosaic patterns on their tail and dorsal fin. This 17 gallon tub has my Dumbo Mosaic guppy breeders. These breeders have been producing lots of fry. The males are getting old, but they still are really active and can do what they need to do, which is to breed with the females. Every six months or so, I'll replace these guppies with new, younger males and females to breed. One of the females is pregnant, so I'm gonna catch her and put her in a container and hopefully I can get video of her giving birth. Here's the pregnant female. She's very large and she should be ready to be giving birth. I walked away for a little while and when I came back, I noticed this fry on the ground and two fry up swimming by the surface. One minute later and there's a fry that just came out of her belly. There are also some embryos on the bottom of the container. Here's another fry popping out head first. And he's gonna swim away. And look at all that embryos coming out of her belly. These are undeveloped guppy fry. And there's another one coming out head first. Speeding up the video. Finally, the guppy fry comes out. Normally, when these guppy fry are healthy, they swim straight for the surface of the water, like this one. Let's take a look at the guppy giving birth at half speed. The first one there, head first. Gonna take some time for the fry to get acclimated and start swimming. Then the embryos start to come out. You can see the eyeballs of the guppy. And that one guppy came out as a ball but unfolded and is swimming. Did someone just get a text? Just joking, that was my phone. Anyway, and that third one is struggling to get out. It's been one hour and 30 minutes since she started and here are some pictures of the embryos. It's unfortunate for these undeveloped guppy fry, but apparently it's pretty common for these guppies to release embryos. It's been two hours. Let's count how many live fry we have. 13. So far, I haven't seen her eat any of her fry, but she did try and taste this embryo and she spit it out. She's working really hard and dropping more and more fry. There's a fry coming out tail first. This fry comes out as a ball, uncoils, and immediately swims to the surface of the water. This is the fry's first look at life in the outside world. It's been 2 hours and 20 minutes since she started dropping fry and she's doing a good job. There's more and more fry and most of them are surviving. 2 hours and 25 minutes and she's getting a little skinnier. Maybe I shouldn't say that because in this video she looks pretty big. I thought she was going to eat a fry but she didn't. It's been 2 hours and 35 minutes. And let's see how many fries she has. 10, 20, 30, 
40 and 41 total. There's so many fries swimming around her and she could easily eat one of them, but I haven't seen her eat any. It's been 4 hours, let's see how many fry we have. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 54 total. So she has 54 babies and I haven't seen her eat one yet. She's looking a little skinny, so let's look at before and after pictures. This is her before giving birth and after giving birth, a lot skinnier. Before and after. Pretty big difference. And here's the pictures side by side. I think the female finished doing her job. She did a great job. Now I'm going to get her acclimated back in the breeding tub. As soon as I put the container in the water, the other guppies are really curious and swim up to the container to see what's going on. And there she is in the container with her babies. Everybody's coming to check her out and her babies. And she's been acclimating for around 30 minutes. So I'm gonna catch her with this small net. This net is awesome. You should get it if you don't have one. And I'm going to release her now and what's really neat is she just wants to look at her babies. That's her looking at her babies. Then she finally says bye bye and swims away. After removing the mother from the container, I'm going to put the new 54 fry with the other Dumbo Mosaic Cuppy Fry. I'm going to let them get acclimated for around 30 minutes and then I'm going to release them. One week later and I'm going to check on the fry. The fry are in this tub here. My Dumbo Mosaic males are in this tub. The Dumbo Mosaic females are in this tub. And the breeders are in this tub. Here's the fry. The real tiny fry are the ones from last week and I'm seeing some larger ones there so I'm going to catch those and separate them, males and females and get them out of this fry tub. I'm going to catch the larger baby guppies. I like to use the same water from the tub. This container is going to be for the male babies. There's a little fry in there, I gotta try again. Being careful and not get any fry into the container. Okay, that one's good. And the last container are for the female babies. I got a little smarter. I'm gonna use this net to fill up the container and no fry. These are all the babies I caught from the Dumbo Mosaic Guppy Fry Tub. I'm just gonna catch the males and females and sort them out. This one here is a male. There's a female. I'm gonna put her in the female container. And then I just repeat the process over and over until I catch all of the males and all of the females that I can tell. After sorting the males and females, I'm gonna get them acclimated. These are the Dumbo males. Get them acclimated in their new tub. And then the Dumbo females. I'm gonna get them acclimated in their new tub. I'm going to fill this container up just a little bit so it doesn't tip over. These are the Dumbo Mosaic Guppy males that I have now. They're very young. As they mature, their pectoral fins will get larger and larger. As I was videotaping the Dumbo Mosaic Guppy males, they started to peck at the camera. And then I thought about it and they're actually pecking at the blinking light. Watch what happens when I put the camera into the Dumbo Mosaic Guppy Fry Tub. 
they start immediately pecking at that blinking light. It's pretty interesting. I guess they're attracted to red light. I put the camera in another guppy tub and the same thing happens. These guppies also peck at that red blinking light. This has been one of my longer videos and if you watched it this far, thank you for watching. I really enjoyed making this video and I'll see you guys at my next video. Thanks.